Would you like some ice cream? First of all, very good job on the power of love. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's it's hard to sing a song that's so classic. You know, when you hear that song, you think of your voice, no matter who else sings it. So it's an amazing thing to get. Oh, you are watching. I'm really glad. I'm really happy I didn't know that. <laughs> but did you write that song for Back to the Future in, in yeah, the day? Yeah, uh, sort of. I mean, um, when uh, well, Amblin Entertainment asked to have a meeting with us, and they said, we've just written this film, uh, and our lead character, Marty McFly, his favorite band would be Huey Lewis and the News. So we thought, how would you like to write a song for the film? And I thought, well, great, I'm flattered. I told him I'm flattered, but I didn't necessarily know how to write for film. And I didn't fancy writing a song called Back to the Future, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and they said, uh, no problem. It's a little on point. <laughs> yeah. But they said they just wanted one of your songs. Uh, do whatever you want. And so uh, the next thing we wrote was Power of Love. But you were also in Back to the Future. You did a cameo, right? Oh, well, sort of, yeah. It's amazing. They thought it would be fun, you know, if we did it kind of as an uh, uncredited yeah. disguise thing. It's perfect. Turned out great. Yes, and what a killer song. Oh, my gosh. Have you ever played in Cincinnati, like on the road? Mm, not more than 30 times. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, that might be the dumbest question I've ever asked an artist. Yeah. Uh, Cincinnati is a great town. Yeah. We played Riverbend a bunch. We played all kinds of places yeah. here. Yeah. I love all the audiences. Being on the road, there's nothing like it. And you get to live like a teenager, right? Yeah. You know, you know, you get to sleep till noon. Food everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Somebody does your laundry. Yes. Until it catches up with you and you gain weight. So you're working on a Broadway musical, though, in spite of like the hearing loss and everything, right? Well, yeah, we're very excited. We, we, we've been working on it for about 10 years. Uh, we put it up in, in San Diego at the Old Globe. It's called The Heart of Rock and Roll. And we've just partnered with, um, with a Tony Award winning producer Hunter Arnold, who um, yeah. just produced the hit Aids Town. Yeah. And we're going to bring it to Broadway next season. That's so cool. <laughs> so, I love Broadway. So, I do, too. I, I do, too. I love I grew up in theater, so I love it. Any and you know what else is great is the people, right? Yeah. They're so talented, yes. smart, funny, and yeah. generous and genuine. They're just great people to work with. Yeah, agreed, agreed. A lot of my friends do Broadway as well now, but despite your hearing loss, though, you still put together the album, right? Weather, right? Well, all that stuff was cut before these the two years ago. It was all in the can. So it was only we the We were seven. assembling, we were collecting and writing. Mm -hmm. It took us, you know, we're not very prolific. <laughs> we were, first of all, we were doing 75 shows a year. Yeah. So. You know, that's busy. And yeah. with traveling, that's what, 120 shows? Yeah. So we're busy and we have lives. And as I said, we're not really all that prolific. So, and songs, you know, are just hard to write. I mean, you're, especially when you've written a few of them. And, yeah. But when we, we would get an idea, we'd record it and just put it in the can. The theory being, as long as we were good in my band, we were as good as we, we ever were, that we would just wait till we had 10 songs, release yeah. the record. We had seven songs. My hearing collapsed. We waited a kind of a year to see if I could recover. No help, so we thought, let's release them and uh, share them with the fans. Yeah, and it's called Weather. Yeah. So, what do you remember from the earlier days of being with Huey Lewis in the news, like the whole band? Like, what do you remember from those days in the beginning? I remember being booed off a lot of stages. Shoot. <laughs> Oh, serious. So were a lot of the greats. <laughs> no, our, our first tour, we opened for the Doobie Brothers, and who were good friends and great people, and they really cared about us. And we pretty much got booed off every stay, every night. We, we got what? so good. We got so good at going from song to song, you know, without any silence. Amen. S silence <laughs> Don't was give deadly. a room. That's yeah. it. And so we, at the end of one song, we'd hold the sustain. And the, if the guitar player had to switch for the next song, while we're holding the stain, he'd switch the guitar. <laughs> boom, one, two, three, four, boom, next song. Don't give those hecklers any moments. Yes, yeah, that's amazing. That's horrible. Who does that? Just drunk, unlovable people. That's who does that. Like, <laughs> like that's mean. I mean, I, well, I have had to listen to some people sing that are popular. And, and it's like one of those things where I'm like, booing would be applicable. But like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> but you don't do it. That's rude. I, I, I tell you a funny story. We, we were playing with the Dude Brothers, same thing, on that tour. We're in San Antonio, Texas, uh -oh. which is a big town yes. for, for the they, Doobies. They like they, alcohol. They wrote China Grove and all that. <laughs> and, and now 
and I'd never been out in the hall. We're playing the, the big arena, whatever it is. Mm. And I thought, tonight I'm just gonna go out and see what it's like. Because, you know, the lights are down, the doobies are up. Nobody's gonna know who I am. I got a baseball hat. And plus, we were just starting out. Nobody knew who we were anyway. So I walked to the very back row of the arena and sit down, and, and the place was sold out, but in the very back row, there were a few seats empty because people had moved up. And my nearest guy was maybe where that, the end of that couch. There's a guy over there, and it's dark, and thing. And now, I suddenly realized as the doobies are playing, oh, they're at the spot where they're gonna introduce themselves and have about a hand for the opening act. And so, sure enough, and I, I said, well, this will be interesting. And I sit there, <laughs> and, <laughs> and Pat Simmons goes, well, hi everybody, you know, we're the Doobie Brothers. Great to have you here. And how about a big hand for our opening act tonight? Huey Lewis in the news. And this guy right here goes, boo! <laughs> right here. Right here. Oh my God. I wanted to go over there and grab him. That is an unlikable human. That's so mean. He paid his money. Yeah. You, do whatever you know what? Wants. You know what? I'd have been like, still got your money. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> going to the bank. I was like, <laughs> Who's laughing now? <laughs> like, That's a jerk. We hate him. Okay. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.